Like many of you watching right now, Sharon was afraid to get a pap smear and had been putting it off for years. But all that changed today, and I just finished giving Sharon her first pap smear in six years. <laughs> Yay! So she did fantastic. Now, how was it? I, it was very quick. I it, was, it. it was quick and painless. It's she over. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> she's done it a couple times, I guess. Yeah, uh, I've been doing it a while, but yeah, and, and everything looked absolutely healthy, and we're going to get your results to you. But what's more important to me, we didn't do a pelvic exam, and you've been complaining about, um, you know, some pain, which we should get checked out. You're absolutely welcome to come to my office. I, I will do Thank that. Early detection is the key, and a pap smear is, for women, one of the best screening tools that we have, especially since it's actually progressed with HPV testing. But there's one big, huge mistake that women make before getting their pap smear. Do you ladies know what that is? Douche. I know. No. Bow, shika, bow. <laughs> you said it. Actually, yeah, you should do it the night before, but I have women who will do it like a few hours before, right at lunch before, but at least a day before. So wait a second. Do it meaning sex, right? Sex. Okay, should we clarify that bow should bow? Sex without a condom. Without a condom. But my wife. No sex for at least 24 hours. My wife just had her pap smear, and the doctor said, you know, no sex for a day. Of course, my wife thinks, well, if I wait, you know, if I do more than that, I'm being a better patient. <laughs> so it's like a week. <laughs> I'm going to go get this doctor it, on the uh, phone. It doesn't have to be that long, but the problem is, is because the fluid from the semen, it can affect um, how they read the pap smears.